being kind of uh, was an offensive lineman's dream, just um, line up and, and run the ball over and over and over again. What was, what was your impression of your, your first game? Uh, no, the, the Beaver? <laughs> absolutely. You know, um, I've been looking forward to playing Reeser the whole off, like whole summer. You know, I've heard so many stories because I've had Coach Devan as a coach prior to here, and he's just told me all about like the glory days. And I'm like, all right, I can't like wait to finally be here and like get involved. And you know, like. Reeser never felt like never fell short to the expectations I had with it, even though it wasn't sold out yet. Like, I'm, I'm excited for the season coming up. I'm really excited. Um, the game was again something um, I'm a little new to, strictly a run game almost. Um, I love I loved it. You know, it's a strong physical game. It's football. It's what it is. But um, when we see something, we can just run and run and run and run. We're just gonna do it. You know, like that's what we are and that's who we are. And it's fun. There were two drives of more than 10 plays where you didn't throw a single pass and just <laughs> ran the ball down the field. What does that say to the group and, and the, the, the confidence that the coaches obviously have in your group? Uh, I mean, I feel like it's almost every team across the nation, like, put the game on our backs, you know, let our running backs make the plays and let the O-line lead the way, and then everything else will fall into place after that. Because if we have a strong run game, we can't be stopped. As long as we get the ball on the ground, we keep moving, it's, it's what we're here for. It's our whole game plan. I think you guys rotated in like eight offensive linemen during the game. But how do you think the chemistry kind of went for that first game? You know, there. I mean, I feel like O-line, it's a tight room. It's a really tight knit room. We all have to work together to be a cohesive offensive line. We have to do what we have to do. But uh, throughout fall camp, you know, we've been doing the rotation. So we kind of all played together with everyone at some point in time. Even if it was um, Strand at right tackle and Flav at left guard, I played. You know, I still have the pocket awareness of Grant and Strand. It's just different guys. but. I know who's in there. I know what's going on. So I'm pretty comfortable with everyone on the line. What's 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 more fun for an offensive lineman, run block or pass block? <laughs> I mean, I think I know the answer. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's nothing like just imposing your will and moving a guy from point A to point B every play of the drive. You know, and when you see like the little whisper of hope leaving their eyes, that you're just going down the field. You're just kind of like, yeah, we got this. We're going with it. Did did it feel different in the second half when when it was just clear you guys were running running? Over? Were they wearing out? Did they did guys start giving up a little bit? Or? Uh, I mean, they, no, they fought hard to the end. You know, you could see it. Uh, they were tired. Yeah, it was a hot day, but we were all retired. It's the same stuff. But I mean, we were going into this week knowing what we were going to do. We knew we were going to run the ball, and we had our plays that we wanted to run, and that's that's what we did. We just stuck to our guns and did what we know. And I know you and Van are coming from a place that, I mean, Colorado held the ball as long as anybody last year and a lot of long dropbacks. And Vonnie was getting out quick this week. He was running a lot. Just how different is it for you guys? No, it was actually kind of funny. Uh, towards the end of the fourth quarter, me and Bam were sitting down and we're like, I think we'll take the 95% run instead of the 95% pass any day of the week. <laughs> it's just a lot more fun for football. You know, like we know what we're doing. It's violent. It's what we signed up to be. And it's just fun. The, um, the touchdown pass to David Wells, um, when you look at what, I don't know how much you've seen on film, but the pocket was about as clean as you could possibly have. Did, have you watched it and then saw how, just how good the blocking was on that? On that no, play? yeah, absolutely. I mean, blocking will always be better. There's a couple of things that I need to clean up on that one for sure, but uh, it was designed to give him space and that's what he got. So it was cool to see it all play out in live action. How much better could you have done? I mean, that was anybody within like seven yards of No, it, it's just like little things. Like Coach Bray was saying, like, so was Coach Gunnarsson. You can't be happy. You can be happy with the win, but not necessarily what you did to win. Because yeah. there's still the little mistakes yeah. that we can clean up that yeah. will get exposed when we play the stronger yeah. teams throughout the year. Yeah. And so, like, that's what the focus is this weekend. That's what, I mean, pretty much ever since the game ended, that was focus correcting the small things that we know we need to fix to go into this next week and later on in the season so they don't keep showing up. Was there, was there a play in the game you felt like was as close to perfect as, as it could be? With I, I know there's never a perfect play, but was there one um, in the game that really stood out to you? I, I don't really, like, I feel like every play has something there. Like, no matter how good you think you did, there's always something that can be better. I don't ever look for the, you strive for perfection, but you're happy with excellence, you know? Yeah. You will never be perfect, but you'll be damn near good. But you'll be good enough to be excellent. Yeah. But there, there was a couple drives. Uh, we were going towards the Jumbotron, and we just called the same play like three times. And, you know, when you're kind of like in the eighth, ninth play of the drive, everyone's kind of quiet because you know what you're doing. It's the same play. And um, I think it was JT right next to me. He didn't say a lick, but we knew exactly what we were doing. And it felt good. And we got off the rock, and we drove it another five or six yards down the field first down. Yeah.
What's it like when you know you got two guys back there who can practically start probably at any school that they would want to go to? You know, I love it. Um, you know, backs are my best friends. Backs are the O-line's best friends. They make our job easy. Uh, we make their job easy. It's kind of just back to back and it's kind of just a give and take. Um, but it, it's a phenomenal feeling that we can lean on the run game whenever we want. And then when we want to go air raid or just throw it deep, we can. It's a really fun feeling to have. San Diego State's defense, what challenges do you see looking at tape early in the week? Um, you know, they're a little stronger, a little bigger, a little quicker. It's going to be a fun game. They're a lot more physical than up front uh, than last week. But, you know, um, it's just going to be a fun game. We're kind of used to this play style of the defense. It's similar to what we've seen before. Um, and, you know, we've practiced it for a couple couple weeks now. So getting into it, it's going to be fun. I don't, know if you've, I don't know if you've been asked this yet, but how, did you, how did you feel like you and Josh meshed on the, on the left side the first game? Uh, I think we meshed pretty well. You know, we've been in the same spot pretty much since this mid of camp. We've kind of been solidified there. Um, but again, we had rotations in with every guy. But I feel like there's always a different mesh or well that I have with different guys. So me and Josh, I know like for sure he's going to be there when I need him to be there. And Flav is going to have something else that I'm going to need. And same thing for him. It's just different things. But, um, you know, it, it was uh, good to know that he had my back. I had his back. And it was a pretty good game between both of us, I feel. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of rare to have a guy of his ability playing guard. You know, <laughs> so what's it like having him next to you? Because most, most left tackles don't have a left guard of his ability right next door. Yeah, you know, he he's a whiz when it comes to everything that he is. Like football terminology, he's been in the game a couple years longer than I have, and it's it shows a little bit, you know. I call him an old man. He's he's a little older than me, but um, he he's smart. He knows what he's doing on each play. Um, when like I get a little antsy about something, he can kind of like just make sure you know what you're doing. It kind of helps me talk it out on the sideline. It's pretty nice to have, um, but it, it's a phenomenal feeling to be real secure there. I thought you had a question. Oh, no, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Thank